What is going on guys, Rewinds here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Boruto Manga Chapter 70. So this is going to be my predictions and expectations video for that, and we got quite a bit to talk about today, so let's get started. Um, last chapter left us off on a big cliffhanger with Ada of whether she would decide to turn on Code and join the Hidden Leaf. So I'm going to talk about that, and I'm going to be talking about... A few other potential things that could happen in this chapter but it's pretty open-ended in my opinion I think the chapter could go many different directions a lot could happen but one thing I believe is for sure and that would be that this could be um, the last arc before we get this time skip it really has that type of feel for me at least personally I feel like this is gonna be an arc that leaves some type of big uh, lasting impact onto what causes the time skip to begin with so I do think we're nearing there I think the time skip is gonna happen somewhere between two to six chapters depending on how long they decide to go with this arc um, and I say that because the volume set for the upcoming chapters I believe is chapters 69 to 72 and I feel like they would bring the time skip in to start off a new volume or to end it off on an older volume. So maybe chapter 72 could be when the time skip happens. It could be 73. It could also be 76 or 77. So that's just my personal guess on it, but that's what I believe. Uh, so let's talk about Ada. So her big decision, right? I personally think she's not going to turn on code. Code is about to get fucked over if she does and code you know already can be beaten down by boruto or kawaki at the moment so i don't think they're gonna go down that route of aided turning good um i think she's gonna turn to code and side with him again or maybe code will use something else to bargain for that i don't know but i also think she's a little too overpowered with their techniques i feel like it'll be tough for a villain to break through them if you know they have her as an ally so i can't see her being that at least not now and she probably won't be actually anytime and another thing is i'm pretty sure she wants to kill amado right if she wants to kill amado they're not gonna allow that i don't think if she turns good like i don't think naruto or shikamaru would ever really agree to that so i think she's gonna stick to code side we might even see daemon this chapter who knows um so the next thing that I'm expecting is Code to be involved in a fight that's not Delta or Shikamaru. Uh, I think this could either happen mid-chapter or we could end with the cliffhanger where we have a fight against Naruto versus Code. Like I think the fight would start off as that and then Sasuke and Boruto will arrive later on. And then maybe we'll get a team up of Naruto and Sasuke and Boruto as well. And if we just get Naruto and Sasuke for whatever reason, I'm expecting them to still give Code a good fight because it's two on one. I don't know if I expect them to win because of, you know, how much damage their powers have taken throughout the last few stories. Um, but Boruto's around too, and if Boruto's around and he's fighting at his best, Boruto could definitely lead him to victory. But I don't think Code is going to be killed off personally until after the time skip i will be surprised if he is killed off very soon because then it gets you to wonder like what's going to happen with other you know villains coming up in the time skip um there's a chance that code could be forced to retreat maybe he's going to retreat and kidnap amado with him that could be a possibility i was thinking let me know what you think of that one because if he kidnaps amado amado's not you know super uh how, how do I word this? He's not... He's one that'll break pretty easily, like he said in previous chapters. So I think he would release Code's limiters pretty quickly as soon as Code starts torturing him. And uh, that's going to be something that could be everybody's downfall in the village because who knows how strong Code is going to be after these limiters are removed. If he's on that Ishiki level or even maybe slightly beyond it like that could be trouble for kawaki and boruto 
I mean, Naruto and Sasuke probably wouldn't even stand a chance at this point, but who knows? Um, a crazy thing that could happen that I feel like might happen before this time skip happens is Kashin Koji makes a surprise return. I don't know how likely that is right now, but I just wanted to point it out because I do think it's still possible because he has infiltrated the Leaf Village before by using, um, you know, Jiraiya's whole thing, but maybe the sensory system has changed in the village, so he can't do that again, but I wouldn't be surprised if he found a way to do that, and he's probably just watching what's going on. I would not be surprised. There's also a chance, you know, he might not appear till the time skip's done. It's very possible in both ways. We'll see what route they go with that one, too. I'm expecting some scenes with Kawaki in the chapter for sure. Most likely, there'll be a few scenes of him in the hospital, probably talking to Samire. And then I'm assuming that he's going to end up leaving it at some point because he's going to realize that there is a threat in the village. He might have honestly realized it in chapter 69 as well. Because he did seem like he knew something was up when Naruto ran out of there. So Kawaki could be getting involved in the bigger picture as well. I don't know how smart that is though. Because I mean he was. You know I mean he just recently woke up in a hospital. So we'll see. Um, and as soon as he finds out though that Naruto's in trouble. He is definitely going to go crazy and probably rush over again. Uh. And another thing that could happen even this chapter is Amado just cracking in general. A cliffhanger that I thought could have happened last month uh, could apply to this month as well. And that could be Amado just cracking in general and just getting those limiters of codes removed. And then the chapter cliffhanger could be that code now has his full power unlocked. And that could be a big way to end the chapter. I don't know what they would do in chapter 71 after that, to be honest, because that would take quite a lot of effort to stop that, I'm assuming. Unless, again, you have Ada turn good. Um, I don't know what route they would go exactly with this. Uh, I feel like it's a little too soon for Boruto and Kawaki to awaken like another power-up so soon just again. Uh, so I don't think they would go down that route. But... Um, like I said, there's tons of ways they could go with this. I'm just tossing out ideas. Another idea that I'm sure a lot of people want to see actually happen soon is Boruto getting his scar. It's something that people have been wondering about since episode 1 or chapter 1. And it is something that's going to happen at some point. I do believe Code did it to him. And I think it's bound to happen soon. Um... Big, big point that I want to emphasize, I do not want them to kill Sasuke off before this time skip. I want him to be around at least a bit more, you know, train up Sarada a bit more, train up Boruto more, build up more of a bond with them. I think they foreshadowed his death in chapter 69 in my opinion, but I don't think they should kill him off the same arc. I would not be too happy with that, you know, if it happens. I just feel like he's a character... He, he deserves better. Like, he is, you know, one of Naruto's biggest characters. He deserves a good, well-written death. And I feel like there'll be a better way to do it off post time skip if they decide to go down that route. But I hope that they don't do anything with them bad like that during this whole pre-time skip span. Um... And then the last thing would be, let's talk about Shikamaru real quick. I do think he's going to have a little stand that he ends up making against Ada. They're probably going to argue if she refuses the whole decision. And um, I do think he's going to execute a plan off to separate Koen and Ada off, like he was communicating with Eno last chapter, that she should go and open the door so Code can be released. So I do think that we're going to get a little bit of separation. Because Ada's ability is a little too OP. Uh, even Naruto and Sasuke wouldn't be able to resist. Boruto would and Kawaki would. But Naruto and Sasuke can't because, you know, they're human. And the ability works on them. So just because of that, uh, I think Shikamaru would end up finding a way to keep Ada away from Naruto and Sasuke. Especially if, you know, we're about to get a full-on battle soon. 
I feel like this arc is going to be one that's not crazy, crazy long, like a few of the previous ones. Um, this one, I just feel like it's going to be climaxing a little sooner than a few previous arcs. Because, you know, it seems like the last arc we had, we had a lot of build up to it for the first like four or five chapters. And then things started getting a bit crazy. So now we're at the point where, you know, they didn't stop after the previous arc for some setup. They went straight to it. Uh, we had like maybe one setup slash aftermath chapter. And then after that, you know, they've kept their foot on the pedal. And they've been delivering some exciting chapters, in my opinion, where a lot's been going on. But... Overall, those are, you know, my thoughts on what could be happening in Chapter 70. I know this one was a little bit more clustered, but I genuinely think that there's so many ways that they could go down uh, different routes in this chapter and just for the rest of this arc. So that's my overall thoughts and predictions, expectations. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, do you agree with any of these predictions and expectations of mine? Do you have some of your own? Let me know. Uh, be sure to leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Hope you guys have a good day or night. I'm Rewinds, and I'm out.